Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. So, another fan favorite character have been added to the game, which is the baddest Jury, and she's a trigger character. Welcome to the trigger family. And now we have another option to play with absolutely fantastic art absolutely fantastic skills i'll be talking about them i've read them there's a little bit of points that i need to explain to you some people have been uh asking me about uh is this work does this work like this or it works like that some points were not clear i'll be clearing them up if you want to check this with me absolutely perfect art she her name is baddest jury yes she's b jury b jury you can never go wrong with being b jury Okay, so she's a Thunder Faction and she's Agility. And Agility means she has a lot of dodge, so she have the mechanic to save herself with just having gears on herself, first of all, which is a big W, and she has a lot of crit rate, she has a lot of crit damage, and she has a lot of attack because she's Agility. And Agility is one of the best in the game. Other than the tech, Agility, then comes the power for saving yourself with max HP. So let's go and talk about her. So she's... An SSD character, it means summon special ticket that you need to go and use. We're gonna go and check her super first of all. So her super, it's a single target. It means she's great in bossing and we're gonna check the other skills, their AOE. But first of all, her super is one of the most important utility that you need to use for her. Now, she's not the best buffer for your entire lineup. She buffs the C2. We're gonna be talking about that. And she's not a very technical utility unit. She have good survivability, plus that she have a lot of dodge. And uh, she's not a unit that can stun or interrupt. We're gonna test that. Maybe we have something hidden, just like the other units that it doesn't say that they interrupt or stun, but they do actually. So we're gonna go and check that in the future testing. So smash the nearest enemy multiple times, dealing damage equal to 729% of attack. Absolutely good numbers. Also increase the fighter's crit rate by 15% for 10 seconds. And this will come good. And we'll be talking about this. So increase damage to 838% of attack. So attack is a must for her. Increase the fighter's crit rate by 25% for 10 seconds, which is absolutely crazy. You can stay having the 25% crit rate buff until the end of the battle if you go back to back, back to back. Let's talk about her passive. So, when hit by a combo or super combo, backflip to avoid taking damage. Gaining damage immunity for the duration of the backflip, of course, which is absolutely perfect. Upon landing, gain 30% damage reduction for 5 seconds. It means she's gonna mitigate the damage for herself as well after being immune with the backflip and avoiding the damage. Really, really great because sometimes you get hit in your face and you backflip and this hit like Chun-Li's uh, super. She gets hit in the face if she's in the front, she backflip to the backward, the wave will catch up to her again. So she have this percentage to keep her alive after the immunity wears off from the backflip, which is a good way of thinking that I've thought about it, which is great. Gain 30% damage reduction for, 50, for 5 seconds. This is considered a trigger skill. Trigger interval 12 seconds. So every 12 seconds she can do this. Absolutely fantastic. Upon entering the battle, increase this fighter trigger skill damage by 20%. Upon unleashing a trigger skill, increase trigger skill damage by an additional 10%, stacking up to 5 times. Absolutely great. So upon entering, she's gonna gain, gain 20% skill damage amplification until the end of the battle. That's 20% that will stay with you all the time, which is absolutely crazy. That's 20% and 10% stacking up five times. That's 50%. That's 70% initially. She's gonna, if you stack it up and you will stack it up and it will, it never ends. It tells you here that it stacks up to five times and it doesn't say it has a duration. Absolutely magnificent. Now upon entering the battle, it's 25%. That's 25%. Absolutely crazy. Upon landing a backflip gain 45% damage reduction for five seconds even better upon unleashing trigger skill increase trigger skill damage by an additional 15 percent stacking up to five times that's 75 percent and 25 percent that's 100 percent increase in skill damage or trigger damage bonus which is absolutely crazy upon unleashing trigger skill uh, skill damage additional 18 percent stacking up to five times so it goes up to 18 times which is absolutely more so it goes beyond 100 percent if you have her ex at three stars 
Now, let's read her C1. Her C1 is really great. I like her C1, to be honest. There's a lot of synergies that you can play with. So it says here, one skill in position one, we don't care about this. Consider it a trigger skill. That's what you need to understand. It's a trigger skill. So, unleashes four strikes, dealing damage equal to 313% of attack to enemies in an area. So AOE, that's good, actually. Good damage, not bad. Also increase the combo 2 damage of all friendly fighters by 15% for 5 seconds, including her, but she doesn't have a C2, so, or she doesn't have a trigger C2, so it doesn't matter. 15% for all friendly fighters. Now, you could say that she works on single target bossing with a C2, a massive C2, somebody like Akuma. It works really good, it re works fine. Somebody as AOE in story mode, like Fashion Blanca, his C2 is already broken, and with this buff, it will deal even more damage, which is really great. One unit is a sleeper with, I would say, one of the best C2 skills in the game that deals a lot of damage, which is Trendy Dalsim. So keep that in mind if you want to go and do some testing, if you have him maxed out, she will be a good buffer for his C2, which is absolutely nice. Now, increase the damage to 360% of attack, also increase the, da the combo, uh, 2 to all friendly fighters at 25%, great, it goes up to 30%, 30% damage buff for the combo 2 is really, really nice. Her C3, it's also an AOE and it's a trigger. So quickly move, and here you need to focus about this. Quickly move behind the enemy, rearmost fighter and deal damage equal to 500%, uh, 531% of attack to all enemies in an area around the target. It's an AOE, she will hit around the targets, but here, what it says, it move behind the enemy rearmost fighter, not in front of the enemy rearmost fighter. So I got questions like, could she do what Summer Yang does? Yes, perfectly, exactly what she does. Another skill that will allow her to take zero damage when the, the enemy is initiating a fight or initiating a combo. Which we did this with Summer Yang, we did this with Jun and Ibuki. They go behind the enemies and they will avoid all the damage taking in the front. Now, I hope that it will take longer that she stays that like for one second so you can avoid the damages, which will be great actually. Don't get this mixed up with something like Akuma. Akuma goes to the rearmost fighter in front of them, but he still takes damage if they initiate. But she goes behind them, so if they initiate, they will still hit anybody else except her, which is make her a good cheesy way you can use her in a cheesy mechanic, but you need a little bit of timing. Also increases the fighter's super combo damage by 18% until the end of the next super combo so she will always get this 18 percent buff which goes up to increase the damage after unleashing this uh, super combo 30 percent until the end of it and then it goes to 35 uh, 36 percent so she will always get this buff in her super combo by 36 percent in damage which is absolutely great super crazy i love it i love it it's absolutely great now you need to keep in mind that here, her super, she got buffs herself by 25% crit rate and, uh, when she does her super for 10 seconds. Now this will come in handy really good. Why? Because of her fighting spirit. We're gonna talk about her fighting spirit and all the details about it. Because 80% of this crit rate, the entire crit rate that she has or any buff of crit rate that she has will be converted into crit damage, which is absolutely crazy. We'll be talking about that. So spider necklace. First of all, her attributes are HP, attack, which is you need very much on her attack, crit damage again, sure, so her crit rate is not going, going to be not uh, recognized, and pressure. Pressure is lovely. Why I love pressure? Because the enemy, if they have dodge, she has more pressure, pressure will hit her, not miss, and hit every single attack. So, the skill. After backflipping, when the passive skill is triggered, recover 12% of max HP, which makes her heal if she backflip, if she's low on HP, that's a good act actually functionality for her. Now, she doesn't have a lot of defensive mechanisms, again, the backflip is the one for it, and it gives her damage reduction, but with her C3, you can do a lot of things to avoid damages when you go behind the enemies. So, her assist, and I love this assist, actually. Finally, I got an assist that is top-notch. Her assist... After the assisted fighter enters the battle, for the first time, increase their trigger skill damage by 25% until the end of the battle. It means if you have Eva Ryu, uh, Kami and Vega, Summer Ibuki, or Gorma Galakan, and you slap her on them, they will deal extra damage. Now, of course, you can use her on other units that have a trigger and skill damage like Suit Able or uh, Beast and Give. They trigger their skills. It will increase their damages, but they're not damage dealers, so you don't depend on that. But 
with this skill, if you got her somehow to uh, double S and you want to use a trigger skill character or, or you want to buff a, sk a trigger skill character, especially something like Eva Ryu and Gorma Galakan, which are big and chunky, you can do that with her, slap her on them and they will amplify their damages by 25%. Absolutely phenomenal skill. I love it. So, at plus 10, after backflipping, when the passive uh, skill is triggered, increase the fighter's trigger skill damage by 25%. So, even when she dodge and evade, for 12 seconds she will increase her damages by 25%, which makes her the most ultimate carry of buffing herself. Absolutely crazy. Plus 20. After this fighter unleashes a super combo, increase their attack by 15% for 8 seconds. I love that. It's attack, not damage. Attack is what she needs. While this buff is active, if this fighter unleashes combo 3, increase their super combo damage by 30% for 12 seconds. Just impossible. Impossible. The damages that she ramps it's, are, are impossible. I think if you maxed her, she will be maybe the highest damage dealer on the lineup. At plus 30, after this fighter unleashes a super combo, increase their crit damage by a percentage equal to 80% of their current crit rate for 10 seconds. Absolutely crazy. Crit damage is the highest multiplier. Now, on top of that, she deals true damage, not soul damage. Soul damage can be countered somehow, like somebody like Zangief so you, or, or Eva Ryu. But she increases true damage. True damage, it means there's no counter for that, unless immunity. If you're completely immune to damage, you're not going to take any damage. So every strike at 3 out of 3, every strike from this fighter's super combo deals additional true damage equal to 60% of attack. So this is why you need to build her up on attack. This is why attack is the most important thing on her. So at 6 out of 6, every strike from this fighter trigger skill deals additional true damage equal to 60% of attack. So her 6 out of 6, every strike from this fighter's trigger skills deals additional true damage equal to 60% of attack. Now, why is that important? These, the why, why true damage is important. The 60% is not small, because she amplifies herself with damages when she unleashes a combo or super combo and a trigger skill. She always ramps up every trigger skill. She increases her trigger skill with her passive. It goes above 100%. It means these damages when they crit with the crit damage, this true damage is 60% of the, the the damage that you dealt, not of the skill. So if the skill deals 100 damage and you deal uh, pure damage or true damage equal to 60%, that's 600 or, or that's 60. But if this 100 damage, it crits, the crit damage is absolutely magnificent. So it's 60% true damage of this crit damage that you did. So it's an overall unbelievable skill. This is why I love her kit. I love her skills. Absolutely magnificent. Now let's go and read and check her EX move. So her EX move is absolutely great as well. So here, EX move, the newest one, which is here. So, it gives attack, HP, and defense, uh, damage bonus, heavy hit rate, attack, and HP bonus. It doesn't say anything else for speed, which is okay. So, increases the trigger skill damage when you unleash it. The trigger skill damage to all friendly fighters by 50% for 9 seconds. Absolutely great supporting card for every trigger skill character or trigger character absolutely great while this buff is active if any friendly fighter unleashes a trigger skill increase the trigger skill damage of all friendly fighters by an additional 10 percent so 50 percent and 10 percent that's 60 percent for nine seconds stacking up for to up to 50 percent so if you can continue with nine seconds dealing trigger and trigger so because trigger units somebody just it's this is perfect for gorma galakan why gorma galakan has a trigger skill for c1 c2 and c3 no any unit, no other unit in this game has trigger skills like that. They either trigger with the C1 or the C2 and the C3 or C2, C3 or C1 and C3. They can't do it with all of them. Gorma Galakan triggers when using a C1, C2 and a C3. So this is why it's absolutely great for him because it will go up to 30% for him at least once. If you do another rotation, it will go up to the 50%. It will be capped. So this is why I say... Keep your eye on this, read something, understand how the mechanic goes, there's something are hidden, something are obvious, so you keep that in mind. So at one star increases the initial trigger skill damage to 65%, great. 
At two stars, while this buff is active, if friendly fighters trigger skill, increase trigger skill damage to all friendly fighters, an additional 13%, stacking up to 65%. At three stars, increases the duration of both trigger skill damage buffs to 12 seconds. So it's not anymore how much it was. It was nine seconds, it goes up to 12 seconds. At four star, upon in uh, unleashing, increase the trigger skill uh, damage to all friendly fighters by 80%. That's huge. That's huge. At four star, it's... Um, absolutely huge while this buff is active if any friendly fighter unleashes a trigger skill increase the crit rate of all friendly fighters by 8% for 12 seconds stacking up to 40% so every time they deal a trigger skill they will increase their crit rate which is absolutely crazy and as I said it's very very good on Gorma Galakan he will always benefit the, from this the most and of course herself because she loves crit rate she deals crit damage she deals true damage she avoid damages she has high dodge because she's an agility absolutely crazy now let's go and summon for her actually ex move i want to summon for her ex move why not i have a trigger skill i just increased or or made my gormagala can perfectly uh to triple s so i can go and at least have one copy of this so wish me luck and here we go can we get it from the first try is it possible nope second try second try let's go let's go let's go let's go now now okay Okay, this will not take all my resources, right? Right? Come on. Come on. One more time. One more time. I feel it. I know it's go to 50, but you can be lucky and get it behind the, before that. And I did some couple of summons before, so I don't know where is my pity, but the 50 is the pity, so keep that in mind. Okay. Again. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, one more time. I think we can do it again with one more time. Come on, give me it right now, right now. Here we go. Here we go. What a beauty. Absolutely beauty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we got it. We have still 24. Absolutely insane. I love that. Actually, we can go and upgrade it. I can recover too. Nice, nice. Here we go to 10. Yes, that's it. Plus 10. Can we upgrade anything else with the shards that we got? Not yet. Absolutely good. And yeah, that was it for the video. Let me know about your opinions about this character and tell me how it works for you. And I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly.